If you're in a Windows 10 and you're using the Outlook app that's built in, and you might want to go ahead and take a look at how to get those on your Android or iPhone. Uh, and simply to do that, you just click on the phone companion icon here. Now basically this is just an assistant that lets you walk through getting your these apps uh, delivered to your phone. Uh, but it's handy to know that it's not only Microsoft apps, but uh, it's the basic same concept works for all universal apps if they're available for your Win 10, they should be available for your phone. So here's a list of all the Microsoft apps. Now, if you're like a lot of Windows 10 users, you've you converted over or you activated the Outlook that comes with it because it's a very robust mail client, uh, very nice to use. So of all these apps between you know Cortana, OneDrive, all those things, you may want to go ahead and start. We're going to use the example here of Outlook. So if I click on that, it's going to go to a wizard. Well. Right now it's saying, here's the account you're signed in as. Now this is, in my case, it happens to be a uh, Windows uh, IMAP account. And in your case, you might be signed in with a Gmail or Yahoo account. But here's, anyways, you have to send the email now to the account that you wanted to uh, see on your phone. So that when you click on it on your phone, it'll go to, out there and install it. But you can also go directly, for example, here, you can click on the Google Play Instead, and do it right now, you just go out to Google Play. Again, you need to be logged in with the same account, the account that you're going to use on your phone. But if you didn't install it directly uh, right here and now, you'll get this email on your uh, phone. And it previews the email that you get. And here it is here. And it says, okay, here's the link to click on to go install it. So you're on your phone. You uh, click on this link, and it'll install the mail app there. Uh, also, by the way, it uh, tells you down here that you can go back to the app and uh, finish these next steps so you're not quite done yet. So let's go ahead and click Next. And then it tells you, because we're doing Outlook, it gives you the exact steps to do an Outlook. If it was Cortana or, or the um, Skype or whatever, it would give you the steps for that particular application. So there's how to get the uh, universal apps on your iPhone or your Android and that work directly as they do on Windows 10. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.